Okay, so we're just healing up. We've just been healing up for a while now, but I need a couple more blaze rods. I would honestly like to get more than just the four I need because I don't want to have to come back here for as long as possible. So we will just go ahead and keep wandering as we collect blaze rods. Die, blazes die! We got one and let's kill that guy too. We got one extra blaze rod, so that means we have as many as we need. But as I was saying, I want to get a couple extras so we don't have to come back here. And I did write down the coordinates of our nether portal, so we won't be getting lost in the nether, which is always a plus. Not getting lost here. Oh, and there's a wither skeleton over here. Let's go ahead and kill this guy. Maybe we'll get lucky and get, uh, oh. Sorry, little guy. Didn't mean to do that. Oh, well, maybe he'll get back up here somehow. Okay, anything up here? No, let's go ahead and just strafe to avoid the blazes. We'll attack them. And are we going to get lucky and get a fifth one? Yeah, we got a fifth one. Okay, so let's quickly retreat before we die. The coordinates of our portal are x is negative 98. So negative 98 would be... Of course it's this way towards the blazes. Don't want to die, don't want to die, don't want to die. Okay, you didn't die. Let's go ahead and dig down. Don't know. Let's go ahead and destroy. We're going to destroy one of them just so we don't die. Like now. That's a plus. I guess, not dying. So we'll go ahead and destroy that blaze spawner. And we got seven blaze rods, which is a lot better than what I thought we'd get. So we'll keep on going down. Forever, it seems like. And how far? So X is negative 98, which means X is here-ish. And then Y is 70, so we need to go up 20 blocks. And then Z is 46, which means we need to go this way. We'll just go ahead and work on digging through the nether fortress. And I can go ahead and turn off that menu. Let's go ahead and dig up like this. Oh, and we can just walk along that path. I forgot about it. Oh, there's a willy weather skeleton. Let's run. No, 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 no. Saying that doesn't make us run faster, but still. Ah, I'm running for my life. Oh, ah. I'm running for my life, and I never ran this fast before, and I swear, oh yeah, uh, let's just stop. I mean, it's not like they can copyright me for that, because it's so awfully compared to the actual version, so I think, I think we're pretty safe. I'm gonna go out on a limb there and say that's not exactly copyright material. And it's a parody, too, because we can say that it was... I don't know what, like, parody copyright films are, but we can say that it is a parody because um, it was not directly the same songs, I think, because I changed, like, three words and I altered the pitch and tone of the music. There we go. See, we just, uh, we could win a copyright lawsuit with that, I guarantee you. If you need a lawyer, guys, be feel free to call me. I will be your lawyer. For no charge, it'll just be good, like, first-time experience. Yes, see there? First-time lawyer. So, yeah, that'll be really fun. Okay, seriously, how much further up do I need to dig? Okay, so F3, I need it to be at 70. Yeah, we're at 74Y. Let's go ahead and just dig right like this. So, X needs to be negative 98, which means we need to go this way. So, I was basically digging in the wrong... No, I was digging in the right direction, but I was digging in the wrong along the wrong axis. So x is negative 98. So that means we're like a quarter of the way there, I guess. Maybe they're like only a couple more layers. Here's some nether quartz. We may as well get this while we have the chance. Oh, we've gotten quite a few levels back too, which is good. I keep dying and losing them all, but at the same time, I mean, I would rather like die and be able to re regain a few experience levels, then die and regain none of them from like dying in lava or something, because at least that hasn't happened yet. I'm usually very good at dying in lava, so I mean, we can always like, oh, I really, oh, I didn't mind the salt Peter good. So Y is almost, Y is, yeah, Y is almost there. We're at negative 81 Y. No, Y was supposed to be 70. Whoops. Whoopsie daisies, my bad. And then X is supposed to be negative 98. And our pickaxe broke. Fantastic. So Y is 70. 2. 3. Wow, this has gone perfectly. X is negative 98. 
So we need to go this way. I guess. Wow, this did not work out well. So we'll just dig this way very, very, very slowly. And then... Oh, wow, that actually worked out much better than it could have. Or much... Yeah, I guess it did work out better than it could have. We could have been stuck in there forever. Okay, well, we need to make a new diamond pick, I guess, because we just broke that one. But, I mean, at least... I mean, at least we were not stuck too far away from home. At least we got to come home slightly in the middle of the night, but it's fine. But yeah, we got to come home, guys, and that's that's what matters in in the long run. We, we made it home. We only nearly died like four times, but we got our blaze rods. We're going to make some melon seeds, and then all will be good, okay? I'm, I'm waiting for your response. Just tell it to the video. Just say, okay, that works. I can do it. Okay, that sounds fantastic. And I'm slowly starving to death yet again. I guess I'm not even starving to death. I'm just starving so I can't run, which is a pain, but it's not, like, too awful. So, yeah. Okay, whatever. Let's go ahead and make that alchemical cam... cam... What is it called? Catalyst, I think it was? Am I right? Do we have... Don't have enough mana in there. Do we have enough mana in this one? No. So what we're gonna do is feed some day blooms or some endo flames, some coal. That's a good first step. And then we'll just generate mana with that. And then actually I think what we mean me, what we may need to do is break I didn't mean to break that day bloom, but whatever. I think I need to break that mana spreader and move it up a bit because it doesn't look like it's actually transferring the mana to the mana pool. It looks like it may be too far away. So let's go ahead and get out this wand of the forest. Let's turn it to function mode. And then yeah, or actually no, we need bind mode. So we'll bind the mana spreader to the mana pool. And now it should theoretically be transferring mana to the mana pool. So if we look at the mana pool, accepting mana from items, if we look at this, it's going to the mana pool. Is this one going to the mana pool? Yeah, it looks like it. Oh, and it's raining. I don't like that we're in acacia biome. I like rain in Minecraft. It kind of bothers me that, like, you have to stand here if you want it to rain. But, I mean, it's not that big of a deal. Yet. I'll make- wow, the night went really fast. Whatever. Okay, so yeah, making more mana. Do we have enough mana in either of them? Oh, we do in this one, so we'll go ahead and throw that mana thing in there, and we have our mana pearl. Okay, so let's come back, let's get our diamond sword, and we need to make the alchemical catalyst. So what was that? Alchemical... Alchemical cat... I don't know. Is a how 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 do I do seed? Let's go to melon seeds recipe for melon seeds in the with an alchemical catalyst. So we need living rock, brewing stands, mana pearls, and gold. So we have our mana pearl. We have our blaze rods. Let's go ahead and get more building blocks. Let's get some cobblestone. And let's go ahead and make. I think we needed two. Oh, I got way too many blaze rods. Oh, whatever. Uh, we needed some gold, which would be in this chest. Here we go, 38. And I also needed some living rock, which should... Where would the living rock be? Um, maybe upstairs in the Batania chest? See, I'm not very good at sorting this stuff. Uh, yeah, here we go is the living rock. Here we go is the living rock. Very good grammar. Here we go. This is the living rock. Okay, we need the alchemical catalyst. So it goes living rock in the corners. Brewing stands in left and right, gold in top and bottom, and then alchemical catalyst like that. And let's go ahead and get lexicon. Let's go ahead and can I shift click on that? No, I can't do that. So what we're gonna do is just go back all the way and then go index. And we were looking at alchemical catalyst, so I think that's what it's called at least. Let's go ahead and just double check. Alchemy catalyst. Okay. So, I don't see any A's. I didn't see anything. <laughs> Miscellaneous, probably? No. Tiny potato, that looks fun. How do you make that? You just put it in a mana thing. Um, what about mystical items, maybe? 
alchemy catalyst? No. What about uh, the portal to the Altham lexicon index? It wasn't in there. Miscellaneous? No, we already checked in there. Bobbles and accessories? I don't... Tiny planet, what is this thing? Oh, with gravity... Oh, so it's kind of like a vacuum thing, a vacuum hopper. Functional flora, basics and mechanics. I don't know how we use this. Let's try... Okay, so we need a carrot. Can I just throw a carrot in? No. If I put the alchemy catalyst down, now can I throw it in? No. Let's go ahead and make a diamond pick so I don't break our alchemy catalyst. Maybe I need to throw the alchemy catalyst in the mana pool. And, oh, I have a gold pickaxe here. You know, let's go ahead and use this gold pickaxe because it's not going to be very useful. Like, if we ever seriously want to do stuff with it. But, yeah. Here, let's go ahead and throw alchemy catalyst in like that, maybe. And then gold carrot. No. Hmm. Is it really not in the lexicon? Introductory stuff. So, Daybloom's Lexica Botania. I don't like how it's not just all an alchem alchemizing with mana. Here we go. Mana is an extremely volatile substance to point that it is a complete. I can't even pronounce stuff. To a point that it is complete, properties and abilities are unknown. One of them, though, by attaching an alchemy catalyst, mixture of mixture of with a mixture of otherworldly materials to the bottom of the mana pool. It enables the pool to perform alchemy. So we made the catalyst, and then you're able to turn rotten flesh, all that fun stuff. What is this? Mana quartz? Blaze quartz? I've never even heard of some of this stuff. Uh, we can transform snow into ice. That's useful. And then lots of fish stuff, and then it's carrots to melons somewhere. I don't know. It was, it's somewhere, trust me. So I think we're supposed to put it under the mana thingy so let's go ahead and put our catalyst down here and oh that looks different and let's get a carrot out like this so i don't think we have enough mana to do that what about in this little guy do we have enough mana see i'm very disappointed with day blooms and how bad they are at mana generation at least as of right now so no that one doesn't have enough mana either so what we will do is we will just go ahead and give the day blooms or the endo flames to coal except we can't really do that because i don't have enough coal so let's go ahead you know let's go ahead and actually mine a bit more coal because i have officially run out of coal i think like we have none left and we do have a golden pickaxe which everyone knows is like the worst pickaxe but we're gonna pretend it's a really good pickaxe and like yeah that'll be interesting Step on the redstone, and we'll just dig around for coal for a little bit. Do we have any? Anywhere? We have some iron right there, but that's not exactly useful. I haven't checked on Timmy in a while. Timmy's probably dead. Timmy probably starved to death and died. It uh, Wow, it already broke. Okay, well that was like... I didn't even know they broke that fast. Wow. That's kind of just like insane. It's like we used it twice, and then it's like, oh, it's broken. It's kind of like one of the microphones I was using. I actually have technically recorded a couple of these episodes more than once but because oh <gasps> boom and look what we just got it may have been a hassle guys but we did it we successfully made melon seeds from whatever they're called other seeds let's get our hoe out and let's also get some bone meal here we go, 42 bone meal. I am so happy right now. I could just sing a song, but I won't because we've already sung one song in this episode and I'm running out of song singing energy. But so happy. Finally got melon seeds again. And now I just have to wait. So in the meantime, what we'll do is we will just go around and harvest lots of our other crops because crop harvesting is fun. Yeah, this is so much fun right now. I'm having an unbelievable amount of time harvesting cotton from the cotton plants. Okay, well, we will just wait as we slowly grow melons in our backyard. And another plant we can actually make with mana is, um, oh, you can right click on the harvested wheat. Oh, I'm very happy right now. I didn't know you could do that. That's so much better than what I was doing. I was um breaking the wheat for some reason. I don't even know why, but I just was. Can we do that with all of the grown plants? Because I will be ecstatic if that is possible. Yep, okay. So I was being very dumb and reharvesting them every time I wanted to 
get more stuff. So obviously not the right choice. And we already got a melon, which is great. Let's go ahead. Do I have room? I do have room in my inventory for it. Let's go ahead and break one. We got how many seeds? We got three. Let's go ahead and throw that book on the ground. And let's turn the melons into melon seeds. And let's plant the melon seeds. And do I have... Yeah, I think we're doing pretty well for seeds right now, actually. So we'll go ahead and grow up all those things. And we will just harvest more carrots, so we don't have to in the future. And now I need to harvest potatoes. Let's go ahead and throw out that stone brick. I don't need one stone brick. We can, we can live without it. And we'll just go ahead and eat as we harvest potatoes. Because that is the best way to eat potatoes, or harvest potatoes. Eating and harvesting potatoes at the same time. Same time? Same time. Is like the best thing ever. Because it makes you a potato god. And potato gods, as everyone knows, are like the coolest of the gods. Because they have potatoes. And potatoes are really, really cool. You know, let's go ahead and throw out the eye bulbs too. Because that's really useless. And have any melons grown? No. Well, I'm... <laughs> It's a bit of a letdown. Okay, well, we're making no mana because day blooms are so awful at making mana. See, I mean, yeah, we made mana with the day blooms, but they're really not that good. They're really actually kind of awful. So, yeah, I mean, whoop de doo Let's go ahead and shove all of our stuff back in our chest. We actually have a lot of stone building blocks that we can put in our building blocks chest. We'll go ahead and dump all this stuff in here. I'm going to count soul sand as stone, I guess it would be. Let's put the gold and the nether quartz and the glowstone in here. Light berries are probably organic stuff, so we'll go ahead. And actually, I needed to make a diamond pick. And we have more than enough diamonds to do anything with diamonds. We could probably make a bathtub out of diamonds if that was a real thing in this game. And it probably is. I mean, I bet if I search bathtub, I mean, I get people... I bet, oh no, it's going to say I bet people have discovered bathtubs by the primordial era, but I guess not. Kind of disappointed in the cavemen, like really cavemen? You could have had a bathtub and you didn't because you didn't want to think of one. It's not the best reason for not having a bathtub. But yeah, that's my logic behind this. Let's keep the cookies, we'll keep the lexicon, and we'll shove all the other stuff in miscellaneous chest upstairs because that's how I sort stuff. So Bo can go in there. All this other stuff is technically organic. Technically. Because blaze rods come from living things. Flame strings are organic too. Let's we'll shove that in there. <laughs> Not going to be able to find this stuff later, but it's fine. Okay. Well, was finding melon seeds one of our thing? No. Okay. Well, guys, let's go see if Timmy's still alive, actually, before I end the episode. Timmy! Oh, off screen, I threw an egg at Timmy's face, and Timmy got very mad and tried to kill me. So, yeah. Oh, Timmy's growing. Timmy, are you alive? Hi, Timmy. Timmy's very angry right now, so we will be coming back in a while. But, well, thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe if you want to see more of New Horizons, Inc. And bye!